Welcome to this presentation for Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 for tracking emails, calendar, and tasks from Outlook into CRM. My name is Adrian Nair. I am a senior functional consultant for eSEVI. You can find out more about eSEVI by visiting the eSEVI website. This presentation will cover the following. Tracking Outlook emails in CRM. Associating the emails to customer records in CRM. Viewing track emails from within CRM. Stop tracking an email in CRM. Tracking Outlook calendar appointments and meetings in CRM and tracking Outlook tasks in CRM. Here is a screenshot of a standard email from Outlook. This could be any email, either from the inbox folder or from the sent items folder. Once Microsoft CRM has been implemented in your organization, and connected to your email system, you will see this button called track in your email ribbon. Clicking this button will perform two actions. Number one, a copy of this email will get created inside the Microsoft Dynamics CRM system. And number two, your Outlook will create a link from this email to the email record that is inside the CRM system. Here is how the Outlook email screen looks like after we have clicked on the track button. Notice this section here called Microsoft Dynamics CRM. This section will be automatically displayed for all emails that are being tracked in CRM. Linking to a customer record in the Microsoft CRM system. From this section, we can associate the email record against a customer record within the CRM system by setting the regarding information. Clicking this link will launch a CRM screen that will allow you to select the customer record that we want to associate this email to. It is possible to track and associate the Outlook email to record in CRM other than the customer. In this screen that has been launched, we see different entities in the CRM system where we can associate the Outlook email. For example, we could associate the email to a lead in CRM rather than selecting a customer. As in this presentation, we are trying to demonstrate associating the email to a customer, we will select account. This is where the customer records are maintained in CRM system. Then we will see all the account records from where we can select the customer we want. Notice the regarding has been set to the customer we selected. In this example, I selected a VGO travel center. Viewing tracked emails inside CRM. In this screenshot, we are looking at an odd ordinary email that is in Outlook that we have already previously 
extract in the CRM system. From this Outlook screen for email, we see this button called View in CRM that appears when the email tracking is turned on for this email. By clicking this button, we will launch the record directly from the CRM system. Here is a copy of the screen that has been launched automatically when we clicked the View in CRM button. This screen is a CRM form from inside the CRM system. Outlook is able to open this CRM record as the email tracking process had already set up the necessary links from Outlook into the CRM system. We can also stop tracking anytime we want by opening the email from Outlook and clicking on the untrack button. Outlook will present a confirmation prompt from CRM with options to either stop tracking but retain the record in CRM by clicking no or to stop tracking and remove the historical record from CRM by clicking yes. Once we stop tracking the email, the Outlook screen removes all tracking information for that email and the email screen looks like it used to before tracking was turned on. We can also track Outlook calendar appointments and meetings in CRM against a customer. Firstly, let's find an appointment or meeting from our Outlook calendar. Once we open this meeting request, from our calendar. Notice in the ribbon we have the track button that works in exactly the same way as we saw during the email example. Clicking this button will create a copy of this Outlook meeting or appointment inside the CRM system and provide a link to it just like we saw previously and we will be able to associate this to a customer record in the CRM system in the same way we associated the emails with a customer record in CRM. Here is a screenshot of what this meeting or appointment looks like when viewing from your Outlook calendar after tracking in CRM and associating it with a customer in CRM. We can also track Outlook tasks in CRM against a customer. Firstly, we find the task from Outlook that we want to track in CRM. And let's open this task and in a similar way track in CRM. This is a screenshot of how this task looks like from inside Outlook once I have clicked on the track button and linked this task to a customer. In summary, recap, this presentation was about tracking emails, calendar and tasks from your Outlook system into the CRM 2011 system. And in this presentation we looked at how to track Outlook emails in CRM, how to associate the emails to a customer record in CRM, how to track Outlook calendar appointments and meetings inside CRM. We saw how we can track Outlook tasks inside CRM. We looked at viewing the actual tracked email meeting or task from within CRM. And we looked at the, uh, that we have the ability to stop tracking emails, appointments and meetings and tasks in CRM. If you are interested in getting more information or if you have any questions, please feel free
to contact eSAVI and one of our CRM consultants will be available to work with you. We hope you have enjoyed this presentation. Thank you.